Hi, welcome back to part two on how to draw a cat mat. The first time I showed you how to draw it, now the second time we're going to cut all around it so that it turns in more of a shape of a mat. Obviously I'm not going to do it on the camera because it takes too long, so let's switch. Go to this, to this. Now I've cut all around it, I've also used a black pen, this one, to draw the contour of it. I've also added a couple of lines. So now what you want to do is colour in the cat. So make sure you get a favourite picture of your cat or some cat and do it exactly how it is. So now I'm going to colour in some ginger at the top right here because that's what my cat has. And I'm going to draw some right here. This cat is a tortoiseshell and she's my favourite cat. Then I'm going to draw some near her eye, because that's where she's got it. My pencil is broken, but it's fine. Now I'm going to go on to the grey. She has some grey here. She has lots of grey, actually. She has grey all here, right down to her whiskers. Then she has some grey right near her ear. One of her ears are grey and one of them are ginger. It's very strange. It's actually a bit more beige. And I'm just blending it into the other colour. She has some white here, some more grey. And I'm colouring it like this because that's how fur it is. Right near her whiskers. And this time it doesn't reach down to the bottom, it reaches a bit more higher. And I'm also colouring in right here. all around her eye. See the difference on one side to the other. This is exactly how she is. So the next thing I want to do is colour her nose which is pink. So it's darkish but it's also like a light pink. So I'm going to add some dark as well. Then her eyes are green, but it's like a mixed green, like a lightish kind of dark green. So I'm going to add two different greens together. And the rest of her is white. So she's a free colour cat. So the next thing we want to do, so we don't want to ruin our picture with our cup, we're going to put some plastic on top. So you get some plastic which you usually get to cover your school books with and we're going to put some glue on it. Just get some normal glue and just cover that the whole thing with glue. Make sure you don't put big clumps of glue on it otherwise you will be able to see it on your picture. We just want normal cups. You want to put enough so it glues because you don't want it coming off either. Let's just put enough on it. There we go. Now the next thing you want to do is glue it on before it dries. And just rub it down. Rub it all over the place. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Okay, now it's all rubbed. We don't want all this plastic around, so we're going to get some scissors. We're going to peel it off without peeling it off the picture. Just grab it and cut around it. Now 
once you cut all around it, it'll make it easier to cut in detail. Just keep cutting. Be careful not to cut anything a bit too far. Careful of these whiskers because we don't want them going loose. Just cut around here. Doesn't matter if you can see the plastic a bit on the outside. So this will be a great present to give to someone or you could just simply keep it for yourself. The tea or anything which you spill on it won't go on your picture because I've already got one like this and it works really well. Because it's plastic it rubs off straight away with a cloth or anything like that. And there. Let's take that bit off. There we go. Then there's just these whiskers. Go around them. And then this one. There's lots of detail. And there we go. Rubble that out all the way. And there's your cat mat. You can cut in between these whiskers, but it would take too long if I did it on camera. And there we go. And then you just get your cup, place it on top, and this is what it looks like. And once you're done drinking it, just take it off and it's ready for the next cup. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want, you can put it in the comment section down below what you would like me to draw for you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.